Today on Dirt Road Cred, we're going to give you some 2024 predictions, what we hope to see, as well as some recap of what we did this past year. Plus, we'll give you a sneak peek at what our new shop looks like. This is going to be a fun video, so stay tuned. But first off, let's kind of talk about some predictions. So there's obviously a lot that has been going on with Jeep for the past few months, I would say has been kind of turbulent. You know, the past few months have been a little bit interesting when it came to the strike, when it came to the reveal of the, what was coming out in the future of Jeep with the whole strike release paperwork agreements, but then also what we've been seeing kind of in the entire global economy. That's been tricky with the interest rates as high as they are. But some predictions for 2024. The first and biggest one for me is I hope, this is kind of a hope too, I hope that the 392 can hold out for another year in 2025. But the way that it's looking with the kind of reduction of all the big naturally aspirated V8s and the supercharged V8s, including the Hellcats, the TRXs, all of those are now gone besides I think like the Demon Superstock or whatever they call them. So they've reduced a lot of the V8s. And in 2024, I think the 392 is up to almost 91,000 base MSRP. So that is definitely a huge increase in price from what we saw it in 2021, where you could pick them up for, I believe, High 60s, uh, low 70s were MSRP on the 392s, right, Ryan? They were, it seemed like a deal. Like back then, that seemed like a good deal, especially what they're looking at now. But a prediction is for me, I don't see them staying around for too much longer. I know we've said it a lot. I know we continue to say the 392 is gone. You might want to order it. I thought that was the 20th anniversary, but that was false. Maybe they'll hold it on a little bit longer. Maybe they're going to get rid of it. You know, one of our other predictions and kind of hopes for the Jeep industry is that they'll add some new engine options in. So with the Ram TRX, they've been already prototyping the 3.0 liter hurricane engine. So that's a high output twin turbo inline six. They have it in the Grand Wagoneer. I believe some of the Ram 1500s got it. And then now they're kind of talking about it for the TRX. So that's what they're replacing the V8, the Hellcat with. So will we see that in the Wrangler or is it too big of an engine block? That's been a lot of people's concern. Specific engine with the twin turbos, with everything and an inline six, which is a lot longer than two four cylinders, a V8, so Vs, both your cylinders are in a row. It's gonna be a lot to fit. So will they be able to shoehorn that in the Wrangler? I hope, because that would be a really cool engine to see, but it might not. You know, that's one of our predictions. We're gonna have to wait and see, but I hope to see that they do introduce the three liter Hurricane. I just hope they add it in addition to the 392 and don't replace it. So in between this, we're gonna kind of talk about some of our recaps and our favorite moments. Ryan was just saying he's gonna say one of his and I'll say one of mine. So one of his, he said off camera. Favorite moment for me this year, well, one of my favorite moments was going down to Daytona Jeep Beach. We we got in the Jeep and drove 17 hours, what seemed like through a monsoon or multiple monsoons <laughs> coming up the East Coast. And it was a very loud trip, but I will say it's an experience driving that far with half doors on and with the, uh, the soft uppers. It's just so loud, you could barely hear each other talk. But the coolest thing about that trip was going down, we had our first meet and greet on the beach and we got to meet a bunch of you guys. And it was honestly, we were just so humbled to actually see so many people just come up and say hi and say, hey, I've seen the channel, I've watched some of your video content and you know, we really like it. And you know, a few of you guys said you were really nervous to meet us and it's just funny because you know, Matt and I are just two dudes, you know, we just, we're making video content on our hobby that we love. It's really, really, really cool experience. I Especially there was a, a few people that, you know, like were just mentioning, like they just liked my editing style and the way I shot the content. And I'm like, that's the first time I've ever really gotten some compliments towards like my end of the side of things. Cause yeah, Matt's got the knowledge and he's got all the, you know, the inner workings of his brain that just kind of spews out into the video, which is amazing. It amazes me half the time, but to, to be complimented on, on what I do on the back end and the marketing end of the stuff, just really, really cool. So thank you for those people that reached out and, and, and came to visit us at that show. Yeah. Yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head. That was the, well, that was the first show we attended as Dirt Road Cred because we started this in like July, August, but most of the shows were over the previous year. So that was our first show to really see what happened. And it was the first one as Dirt Road Cred. So I remember, you know, filming that news video with the price increase in our Airbnb with our Dirt Road Cred flag behind. <laughs> but like what Ryan said, we had people coming up when I was like picking up a sub at like eight at night at the sub shop to like, and they were out to dinner and they wanted to come up and take a picture with us. And like, you really realize you're making a good impact, you know? And there's sometimes we read all sorts of negative comments and this, that, and the other, but like, 
99% of our viewers and the people that are regulars here, like they're just great people. I think my favorite, one of my favorite ones was getting the 2024 grill to, to be the first ones to get that brand new grill. Cause it's not too often that we can like see something and be so excited about it. Will it fit? Will it not? Like, is this actually happening? And then Brian from Distinction Applied at the uh, Bantam Jeep show had a couple of them there. I don't know where he got them from, <laughs> but like he had production ready 2024 grills and he was like, here, here's a black one for you. That'll match your Jeep. Yeah. And like, that was the first video anyone had done on that grill specifically. It it, and then will it fit? And I, you know, he started selling them then afterwards, he got all the pieces and he's, I forget how many he sold at this point, but it's just fantastic that we were like the first ones to be able to show that off, work with a great vendor. And I think that was, that like made that show. So another prediction for next year, I really hope to see, well, this is kind of a hope and a prediction, but a prediction is that they're gonna release some new colors. Now out at Easter Jeep Safari in April, we saw a ton of brand new colors out there the harbor the harbor blue we saw inca was out there there was the fuchsia color but there was like a couple new colors and a lot of the times when they take them out to easter jeep safari that's kind of like the preview of what's going to come so out there we saw the 2024 grill we saw a couple new things but my prediction is that jeep is going to release some new colors and i'm pretty excited for that but i think it's time you know they gotta kind of spin them around a little bit and get some new colors added but then also the biggest thing i would like to see kind of a hope for next year is more accessories from mopar we saw once again out there Easter Jeep Safari, the favorite that we liked was the front brush guard. So it was a brush guard that went on the front grill. It flipped down actually as well. So you could sit on it, you could hold your luggage. I even saw someone commented like, that would be perfect, I'm a hunter. I could carry like my gear, my cooler up there for hunting or even fishing. When we go down to Delaware, everyone has the front mounted racks on their trucks for their fishing poles and their coolers. And they drive around with them. So that would be, I, I think that accessory that would be awesome to see. I would say my favorite moment of this year though was being able to have my brand new two-door at Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Arrived at the dealership four days prior to us actually leaving for Smoky Mountains. And we were like, I guess we're gonna have to make a, st a pit stop down at Dan Cummins and, and uh, pick up my two-door because from there, it was just a maiden voyage from there down to, down to Tennessee and uh, that's kind of why I gave it the name Smoky Blue. It's kind of got that smoky blue look to it. Like it kind of looks like the mountains off in the distance. If you look at it, like it looks like bluish mountains, but it also has the smoky name, which it was in the Smoky Mountains, kind of its first maiden voyage. We had the doors off the hut in the entire week. And you know, that's where we did the first video on it and kind of really just showed it off for the first time. So it's just so cool to have that there. Try to get to some, you know, we're so excited to kind of continue that tradition of getting to all these shows. And yeah, so just having my Jeep there for the first time was just a real pleasure. And I, I gotta say, like, I'm very thankful for the way this build is going so far. I'm, I'm absolutely having a blast with this. And if you're considering a two-door, get into a two-door, man. They're fun. They're a good time. And uh, yeah, Matt's even said he's kind of missed it a little bit. So maybe I can kind of sway him to get one in the future. I know he misses his JK a little bit, but that's the other thing. I, I gotta thank Matt as well like he has been the gearhead and the kind of the uh well the enthusiast the real enthusiast behind it all and and kind of pushing me in directions where I should build a Jeep and and uh, so I'm thankful for him and his knowledge. Another one of our hopes for the year 2024 is that the 4xe will gain a little bit of range. Now we've always been talking about the 4xe. I think it is a great platform and something that Jeep can really move forward with by giving people still that Wrangler platform, but also the ability to plug it in, get the hybrid tax credit, make those local trips purely on electric. But I think we need to see some changes in the overall range of those vehicles. I wanna see them increase quite a bit. I also wanna see See maybe a little bit more robustness with the way that they work. I know that they were talking about you could plug into them and power some like camp charging outlets with it. So that would be really neat to see, so to be able to kind of use some outdoor overlanding equipment with your Jeep vehicle, drain that battery, and then still be able to drive on gas. On today's viewer rig the video, we are checking out Alex's Mojave Gladiator that's really set up for camping. So he's got a Mojave on here with a three inch lift, 37 inch tires, but then probably the most exciting thing is the Palomino camper in the bed. He's also got it upfitted with the Extreme Recon fender flares. He's got the Evo front bumper, winch, lights, KC lights across the hood, but that camper on the back is just really neat. I haven't seen one on a Gladiator and I wasn't sure how they would look with one. It's a pretty tall camper, but I'm sure when you take that off-road, it is just fantastic to have that, be able to camp anywhere that you'd like. 
This is pretty cool too because Alex is all the way up in Canada. So he's from Montreal, Canada, and that's some place that we're really, really looking to get. We'd love to come up and visit. So maybe we'll put all of our Canada viewers up in a bunch and just come stop and visit you guys while we're up there. Now, a huge shout out to Alex. Thank you so much for submitting this rig. It's a great looking vehicle. And if you guys want to have a chance at your rig being featured, be sure to hit us up through Instagram or send us an email. Well, guys, we're finally here. We're at the long awaited place that we always talk about, the shop build that we have going on. Uh, we haven't shown this on camera too much and pardon the echo while we're still finishing it off. We don't have a lot of equipment or Jeeps or anything else in here yet, but we've been getting everything done and a lot of help from my dad and Jordan. Really, they were doing a lot of this and we were still filming and traveling all over the place, but it's all framed up, it's got insulation, all the electricity is now hooked up, just have to run all the outlets on here. Ceiling's done, first coat of paint, we're gonna trim the rest out, and then I think the back wall, we're gonna put like our logo, DRC, Duro Cred logo across the back wall. Or let us know, maybe like a cool mural, let us know in the comments, but we just wanted to show you guys kind of the scope of what we're building. The inside of this shop is actually 12 foot from the floor to the ceiling, so very big, with plenty of room for a lift in here, and we have it all wired up for everything. Um, when we need it. So we're gonna be working on this towards the end of the year here and hopefully be moving in kind of January while we have some installs. There'll be heat and everything else installed in here, but we kind of wanted to show you guys the progress of the shop. This is pretty exciting for us. And it's gonna be a good space for us to not only do installations, but if we have vendors come out or viewer rigs or you guys wanna drop by, we'll have this place kind of here to hang out and it'll be like the Dirt Road Cred Shop. So it's not gonna be like open to the public. We're not gonna do public installs, but we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of cool things going on back here. But this will be a lot of fun when it's done. And for 2024, we got a lot of exciting things to go on in this shop, which is gonna be really fun for us. But you know, thank you guys so much, you know, from Ryan and I from the bottom of our hearts for following along this long, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking the videos, for everything that you guys do to make Dirt Road Cred who we are today. It is extremely heartfelt for us that we're closing off, you know, a first full year. So this is the first full year of it, um, January through December, and it's been really awesome. We've met a lot of, a ton of great people, a ton of great vendors, and we want to double that for next year. So a lot of cool things coming. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, celebrate some time with your family and have a great New Year's too. So from Matt and Ryan here at Dirt Road Cred, get out there and earn yours. And uh, yeah, that's it for this year and we'll see you on 2024.